championship match here. The leader of the Southern Ripping Crew, Simon Stevens. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Lacey Madison, representing the Southern Ripping Crew, the leader of the pack, Simon Stevens. He's been a very busy man setting up the Southern Wrecking Crew and getting the right people around him so that he can uh, get his uh, reign of dominance going here in APW. And you can't deny he's been very successful at that Definitely. over the last few months. His opponent, opponent from the hills of Cashmere and Christchurch. That's Paul Finley. That's the fan from the crowd, that's Simon Seven. Spat that green mist into a couple of, a couple of months ago. Yeah, you're right. I did a bit of follow up research as well at the time because I was sort of interested by who is this kid, and um, I heard that he, you know, I, I saw his name down in the Stampede match list. And turns out uh, he's a somebody. Is he? Yeah, he's a somebody. He comes from uh, the Benley family. Apparently, uh, the old man's not too happy about him getting involved in this whole wrestling malarkey, but. Uh, He's promised that he's basically said he wants to uphold the family name and uh, do everything he can to get revenge on uh, Simon Seven for trying to blind him a couple of months ago. Well, he's got a big, uh, big mountain to climb. He's got a huge mountain to climb. I, I'm, uh, you know, good luck to the boy, but uh, I think this is going to go only one way. With Bentley making his debut in here in AfterShock Pro Wrestling, I think he's going to get a nice welcome. Hopefully he's got something in him. I'd love to see these uh, Southern Wrecking Crew guys go down. You better watch what you say because, you know, they're going to just come and visit you later on this evening, most likely when they uh, listen back through the footage. I believe they don't know where I parked, so I think I should be OK. We already know that T-Cal's been taken out in the parking lot. Just um, saying. Yeah, I parked on the road, so I think I might be safe. That makes no sense. You're never safe from the Southern Wrecking Crew. You know they've got, got eyes everywhere. Um, quit scaring me, John. I want to be out. I want to make sure I'm here for the Stampede match. That's true. Just maybe, maybe stay exactly where you are during the interval. You'll be all right. I'm sure Tico will look after you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's not here in the building. He's at the oh. hospital. Yeah. Simon Seven getting in a leg lock and just using those forearms into those knees. Simon Seven, a veteran in the game, he knows he's got to five. Seven just toying, just toying with Bentley here. Obviously, you know, the young lad just uh, trying to well, trying to get a bit of revenge, obviously, for the Green Mist incident a while back. And Seven absolutely, as I say, just, just look at it, the smile on his face. He's loving every minute of this. It's like the face of uh, one of those snakes that eat those mouses whole. Mice? I, think, I think you'll find it's mice, Andrew. Well, we, I, I get uh, to see your command on the English language has uh, improved so much. Thank you. Thank you, John. I have been working on it. I am considering going back and doing sixth form English again. But back oh, to the match. You're 12 now. You're 12 English. Back to the match. Got uh, Simon Seven just toying again with him. It's Forbes Bentley. He's trying to make his mark and just trying to get some sort of revenge but uh, I, don't, do well for him. I don't think it was the best idea he's had he's getting chopped wildly was only, I mean to be fair to him he probably wasn't expecting this you know like uh, he, he'd come here to compete in the Stampede match and I'm sure he was probably angling to get his revenge in the melee that is, uh, is the Stampede match and uh, 
Tico's out of commission, obviously, so they needed to pull someone in. Seven was pretty vocal to Dazzler that he was keen for a match. And we do know that the, uh, the Southern American crew does know where... Uh, Throwing him onto that. Oh, pretty nonchalant pin. And not quite all. Bit of referee intimidation, something we're uh, getting very used to here whenever the wrecking crew come into the building. It's starting to become quite the unsafe work environment for these referees. I'm not too sure if Forbes has even had any offense in this match yet. Oh, here we go. Speaking of which, oh, he gets a big clothesline. Gets the clothesline. Simon Seven wisely rolling outside to the uh, to the outside of the ring there. And now comes Benley. Oh, that look on his face. Oh, um, it's pure anger. Again, I think, uh, as you say, before uh, before we got into a debate Ooh. about the English language. Some of our front row getting a nice introduction into Forbes Bentley. But I think it's a python you're referring to. Just absolutely just waiting. You Coiled should. up, ready to spring. I'd appreciate if you went on your phone and Googling things while we're watching match here, John. I'd like to say the Balinese rock python, as Wikipedia is telling me right here now. Very notorious for eating small rodents. And I think that's one way that, uh, that's exactly how Simon Seven is viewing a Bentley right now. But the Regan crew are going to have to be careful here because, as I say, the Bentley family, they, are, they, they have a lot of sway in this town. So they might, you know, they might want to avoid a lawsuit somewhere along the lines because uh, if this continues for too much longer, uh, this, this lad's going to end up in the hospital, I'm afraid. Yeah, if this match goes on any longer, I think we might be having an assault charge. Just Simon just needs to finish this. He's just toying with them now. He's toying with them. It's getting a bit hard to watch. Yeah. We'll try and work him into some sort of... Some kind of submission oh, hold here. Like a sharpshooter. Yeah, it does indeed. Oh, sets him right out. That, there oh, we go. There we go. I'm glad that's ended. I'm glad that's ended. I mean... It's a bit of a mountain to climb, you know. Uh, we're, we're, we're throwing a... The winner of this match is Simon Seven. Bentley into a... Throwing Forbes Bentley straight into the ring with an absolute veteran of New Zealand wrestling. You know, it was never going to go well. And here, oh, he's got oh, the no. chair out. Oh, no. No, the match is over, Simon. Yeah, there's, there's not much need for that. I'm hoping someone needs to get in there and help him. There's absolutely no need. I, I agree. I agree. I mean, I, you know, I am a fan of. No, he's going to end his career. Oh, we've got a, we've got a few. Bit of oh, help yeah. here. Hey, uh, it's, oh. they're just back from Europe. This is the Kamikaze, from the Kamikaze brothers. Coming in with the save for Forbes Bentley. And so happens even not happy about it. And one half of the fist. Hey, you come in the ring, run me off. You, know, you guys should know better than anybody. The Wrecking Crew always has their favoured odds in a numbers game. So, let's get on to it. The Wrecking Crew promised you a big surprise at Southern Stampede. That big surprise is... What have we got here? Oh, looks like we have a new member. Southern Wrecking Crew. Megan K. Oh, and what's happening here? Oh, there's Reese Break. This isn't looking good for these boys. Oh, no. No. Turn around, guys. Turn around. Come on. Oh, this is, this is not going to be good. Break. Oh. oh, and then absolutely decimation. We knew this was coming. Whoa. 
Oh, oh no. enormous choke that slam. That is the biggest choke slam I have seen in a long time. Yeah, that's up there with some of the biggest I've seen too. And oh, Dan- Daniel Lawson anymore. from the Kamikaze Brothers just first time in an APW ring. Getting firmly told who is in control here. And Forbes Bentley, Megan Kate choking him out with her uh, baseball bat. Seems to be the Southern Wrecking crew gaining members each and every month. Yeah, well, now they're getting uh, recruiting from parts outside of Canterbury, which uh, we haven't seen yet, I don't think. So um, I think nationwide they're going to be having to watch their back. 